Hey guys, there's six days left for my Battle of Zama video game Kickstarter. By backing this Kickstarter, you'll receive the game at a significant discount. All proceeds will be used to support the Centurions Review website and YouTube channel. Thanks. Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Hostage Rescue Squad, which is a solitaire game by Mike Lambeau. In this game, you try to rescue hostages on all these different maps and stuff, and you have to get them off the map without any of your uh, SWAT or anti-hostage troops, I guess you would call them SWAT team, whatever they are, without any of them getting killed and without any hostages getting killed. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play the, the first map, and then I'm going to do a short review of it. All right, let's go to the first map. Rules are pretty clear in this. I didn't have any difficulty with the rules. I think they took about a half hour to read or something. Um, my only complaint so far, there's the rules up to page 15, or up to page 17, but it reads quick though. My only complaint is the counters. You either have to cut them out here or go to Board Game Geek and uh, print them out, and then you gotta mount them on some kind of cardboard. I didn't have any cardboard to mount them to, so I just mounted them to like index card material, but that's kind of a pain in the butt. But other than that, that's the only complaint I have about the game so far. Alright, a bunch of hostiles are hiding out in the cabin, having taken a local businesswoman hostage. So let's place the hostage. Alright, she goes in the square here with the H. That's a window there, these are doors, and these different colored uh, green things here are all terrain, uh, which can block stuff. Terrain that doesn't block is always in a corner to signify to you that it doesn't block. And these blue triangles and red circles, those are used to help the AI move the terrorists around the map. So first thing we do, it says roll one die and place one hostile on the matching black number tile. So I roll a two, and black two is right here. All right, so now we got to set up our uh, team, and we're going to set them up on the bottom. You can stack them all together. Andrew is the leader. Andrew, if they're in the same square as Andrew, when they roll their dice, they can re-roll any that they wish uh, one time. All right, so the good guys go first. So we're gonna roll three dice for Beth. She gets a four, four, and a six. One through four will allow her to move. Uh, she doesn't want to shoot yet, so she's gonna re-roll the six. So she's got three moves there. So since I gotta rescue this hostage here, she'll go one, two, three. You can't move diagonal. It can only be up, down, left, or right. I think that's called orthogonally. Uh, adjacent is just when it's up down left and right but don't quote me on that all right next guy this was carlo he doesn't need the six so he'll re-roll it because andrew is there so he moves up the best space now andrew can go but he can't re-roll any dice because he's the leader so he can't re-roll for himself so he actually did poorly there he got two doubles and a double will allow you to do like a throw a grenade uh, do a silent kill or open a door or put out a bullet shield. And the six will allow you to close a door and a five or six will allow you to shoot. So he's pretty screwed there. So he's going to hold up the train there. All right, now for the bad guys. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. They start with a threat level of two. There's an actual threat level marker. I just can't find it. I think I lost it. That's the first counter in my life that I've lost. But... <laughs> So anyhow, that means that uh, bad guys will roll two dice. So they roll a six and a six. Six, if there are fewer than six ho hostiles on the map, add one hostile at a random red ro location for each red rolled, or, or for each six rolled, rather. So first hostage will go at, th or bad guy will go at three, and next bad guy will go at five. So red three is here, and red five is here. So we're going to start a new turn. First thing we're going to do is try and get Andrew to move forward. He's able to move two spaces. That's good. Let's roll for Beth and Carlo. After you roll, you don't actually have to do anything with the dice if you don't want to. They may just wait, but we'll roll and see what they get before I make a decision. So Beth will roll. And she gets three moves. Eh. She's just going to stay where she is, I think. Uh, they're going to wait for Andrew and Carlo. 
he gets two moves and a shoot. So he's going to go one, two, and he shoots and automatically kills this guy. But that makes noise. This is kind of like a zombie game in that if you make noise, um, the threat level goes up one. So now the bad guys will roll three dice. All right, so let's roll for the bad guys here. A four, a five, and a six. You do the four first. Every hostile on a red circle moves one. So he's on this red circle here, which moves him to here. And then for the five, if he's on a blue, he moves one. But also, if there's less than six hostiles, he rolls to put one on the map. So he'll put one on a three, which is right here. And then he got a six, which allows him to put one on the map. And that will go to three, two. All right. Now back to these guys. We'll have Andrew go first. He gets three moves. One, two, three. Then Carlo's going to go. He gets a, a double, which will allow him to either throw a grenade, do a silent kill, or open the door. He's going to open the door, so we put a door open thing there. All right, now we roll for Beth. She gets three moves, so she's just going to... Oh, uh, actually, this is... Hold on a second. She was here, and she gets three moves. She's just going to do two of them, and she's going to do two and wait right there. Alright, so we're going to roll for Andrew now. And he's going to move with the hostage too. Now we roll for Beth. She's in line of sight of that guy there. But this guy is in terrain, so she cannot see him because he's in terrain. So she's going to need to move out of the way so he doesn't shoot her. All right, so she's going to throw a grenade here, which will affect this space, this space, this space, and this space. That's with her two fives. And so this guy is dead. So that worked out well, and she can move. So she'll move with Carlo here. And now Carlo will go. He moves one. Oops. He moves one and then shoots this guy, and I almost forgot. This has to move up twice, once for a grenade and once for this guy shooting. So now the bad guys are going to roll five dice. We'll do the two twos first. Everything on a red circle. Oh, this, these two are. So one, two, they move to there. And then on the three, can't shoot. And then on the five... On five, they move on a blue. So he moves to there, and they roll to bring one onto the board. So they bring one on at number one. All right, now it's the good guys. Andrew's going to go. And this time he moves three. That's good. One, two, three. So he's there with Carlo. And now Carlo will get re-rolled since Andrew is there. Carlo's going to throw a grenade. He's got line of sight to here, so he's going to throw it there. And that will kill this guy and bring it up to the maximum threat level. And then uh, that's it. Or he moved one, too, because he had a four. All right, now the bad guys, they roll seven dice. Two twos, three, three fours. And a six. No, oh, this is on a red circle, so it goes one, two. And then for the three, shooting, none of so anyone in line of sight, and we got three fours. So one, two, three. And then we roll to put another bad guy onto the board. So he comes in at five. So that's here. So I'll back to the good guys. So Carlo is going to go first. 
he gets off the map. Andrew and the hostage will go. That was a terrible roll. Uh, that doesn't do... Is there anything you can do with that? I don't think so. Nothing that will help him. That sucks. All right, now uh, Beth is up. He's in a bad position there because if this guy moves and gets a chance to shoot, he's going to kill him. So Beth will go. So she's going to move one and then use her double one here to throw a grenade right here, which kills this guy. So they actually worked out. Threat level doesn't go up because it's already at the max of seven, so we'll roll the seven dice for these guys. So we got a one, a two, two fours, two fives, and a six. Oh, and by the way, this door closed when uh, that one guy exited, uh, the bad guy had exited it. All right, so for the one, that will go there, that will go there. Them, no, so the one's gone. So that goes there, and that those go there. And two fours. No one's got any line. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, there we go. So we'll go there, one, two. And these will go one, two, and we got a five. So this guy is going to move into here and then move right there. These don't move with the five, but we got hit two fives and a six. So two more guys are going to enter the battlefield, one at a one and one at a six. Six is right here, so those guys need to get out of there. All right, new turn. Andrew, get out of there. He moves two, one, two. Now for Beth. She fires once and kills this guy, and then moves two, so they're down there. But these guys got seven dice to roll. So they got a one. Two two. Oops, I keep knocking those over. Two twos and four sixes. So everyone on a blue. These guys are on a blue, so they're gonna go there. These guys are don't have a blue, and neither does he. So the one's gone. Then we got two twos. So everyone in a red circle. So one two, one two, and then a bunch of sixes. So. There's only two guys left, so they'll roll to see where those two guys go. One goes at two, one goes at three. That guy goes there. Or maybe they all are on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they're all on there. All right. So Andrew and the hostage, they make it off the map. All right, Beth. She makes it off the map, so they win. This is the easiest scenario here. Uh, I've done about five of the scenarios so far. Seems that uh, I seem to win about 50% of the time. I think I've, pl yeah, I've played six games so far, and I've won like three of them. So that's a pretty good success rate for a solitaire game because you don't want a solitaire game that's too easy and you win every time or one that's so hard that you either rarely win or you never win at all. As far as the rules, like I mentioned, the rules were pretty straightforward. I didn't have any trouble with them. I just read right through them and uh, started to play after mounting the counters. That's my only complaint about the game is mounting the counters. Other good things, it plays quick and it is fun. And I can't remember what I played for this. Or excuse me, I can't remember what I paid for this. But it couldn't have been that much or I would have remembered. So it must have been reasonably priced. I got it on Amazon with uh, several other games. So overall, if you're looking for like a game book, and game books seem to be getting popular, I think this is a good one. I also play Bismarck Solitaire. I've had a lot of fun with that one too. So yeah, if you come across this like on Amazon, or they may only even sell it on eBay or something too, wherever, uh, yeah, definitely pick up a copy. I think you're going to have a good time with it. Have a good evening.